We are back, baby. Today, I've got the crispiest, juiciest chicken thighs you've ever made without deep frying, and we're gonna feature two locally sourced hot sauces from Ender Hot Sauce. This is Now We're Cooking. friend of the channel, Jeremy Baker, officially launched Ender Hot Sauce earlier this year, and this is the quintessential definition of what a mom and pop startup business is. He's doing some really awesome things with sauces. Today, we're going to try two of them on chicken thighs, but first, we're going to make them little chicken thighs. Now, you might be asking yourself, Alex, why didn't you pick chicken wings? Well, I just prefer chicken thighs. Uh, for your money, I think they're the best kind of chicken you can buy. Uh, they're dark meat as well, which is always a huge thumbs up in my book. Now, what we're doing first is we're lifting the skin off of each of these, and then we're dusting it with a little thing called Creole dirt, which I didn't really totally remember to take a picture of, but I got one here. Yeah, maybe drop the ball a little on that one there, but this is my first time back in here, so give me a break. So the first thing we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be preheating a non-stick skillet or even a cast iron or stainless steel pan, and you're gonna preheat it to low to just above low medium heat. Once it's hot, we're gonna put these chicken thighs in, skin down, and that's important, and then you're not going to touch them until you see fat rendering out. As I mentioned, the fat rendering out from the skin will be your clear indicator. Mine is a little brighter in color because of the seasoning I used. But as you can see, as I flip them here, the crust on the top is perfectly crisped up. And then we're gonna finish them off here bones down so we've got two sauces today uh one of them is really less of a sauce than it is a honey chili crunch uh and this one is the one that we're going to be calling eldritch which is the name on the bottle uh, from ender hot sauce uh this contains uh reaper hot peppers uh hot honey which is probably hot from the reapers a little bit uh, we've got some chili crunch as well. And that chili crunch is going to be the de devised of um, your your basic red chilies. Um, and this is, despite being a honey-based sauce, if you want to call it that, um, this one has the significantly more kick out of the two. Um, I've definitely tried both of these without being on anything, and it will kind of kicks you in the mouth a little bit. But... Um, I do think it's possible that it may end up working really well with food and might start balancing out in that way. So we'll see how that goes. So the main sauce, and I wouldn't say the main sauce, these are both, we're featuring both for a reason because they're both really good. But this particular sauce is the one that I think is gonna really play for anyone who likes anything even remotely hot because it, it's not gonna punch you in the face with its heat, but it is gonna give it to you a little bit. And the way it's gonna give it to you is in the Scotch Bonnet and the Fatale. Uh, Scotch Bonnet, you may have heard of, it's usually traditionally uh, and more culinarily used in Caribbean cooking, uh, but Fatali is an interesting one. I'd never heard of it actually before, and then I looked it up a little bit, and the Fatali pepper is a cultivar of the capsicum, a Chinese chili pepper originating from Central or South or Southern Africa, but also finds its roots and origins from descendants that come from the South Americas. So it's got a very interesting geographical history to it, um, but it, is part of the two-pronged heat effect, which is all, like I said, very mild. Uh, but this sauce also incorporates pineapple, apricot, mango, cherry, and honey to really smooth things out. And I do believe that this is the one that most anybody is gonna find a way to enjoy in some way or another. Let's find out. All right, this is the moment of truth. We've got our first one we're gonna try here is the Haster, which is the more traditional hot sauce. Uh, we're gonna take a bite and just see what we think. chicken -y. First of all, I really enjoy that this, uh, you know, more traditional hot sauce is so nice, mainly because it gives you a little kick. It's not too spicy. It's really applicable and really accessible to anybody who likes hot sauces, but is a little bit afraid of it, like too hot. And it's got a lot of nice fruit flavor in it, which we talked about earlier in the description of what's in it. So yeah, that's, that works great. I use chicken thighs too because, I mean, why go too lean, you know? No need to go lean. Let's go fatty and get some skin going on. All right, 
Now we're going to try the Eldritch. Which is significantly spicier. Uh, don't let the honey part of the description of this particular sauce uh, fool you. It is significantly hotter. But for those of you who do like the hotter of the things in this world, this has great flavor in it from when I just tried a little bit of it. But let's see what it sees, what it feels like on a little bit of wet chicken. Tell you what. God. If you just try this up by itself, it's borderline too hot for, for a lot of people. Not everybody, but for a lot of people. That just on chicken right away cut down the the high level spice quite a bit and it's 100% easier to deal with and really now makes so much more sense than it did when I just took a little little, little bird taste of it earlier. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, we like this. We like it very much. Cheers.